In the face of recent retrenchment of workforce as well as the growing anxiety over job insecurity at the ports, workers in the maritime sector have called on the federal government to expedite action on the renewal of licenses for terminal operators. Senior correspondent Sharon Jasso reports. According to the National Bureau of Statistics, Nigeria's unemployment rate stood at 5.3% in the first quarter of 2024, representing a third consecutive increase since the second quarter of 2023. According to findings, there are indications that thousands of workers in the maritime sector might lose their jobs due to the non-renewal of license for terminal operators. Ocean shipping is one mode of transportation in which Nigeria transacts its international trade business. Though the Apapa Bok Terminal here seems to have some commercial activities, the story is not the same for some other terminals. At the Tinkan Island Port and Cargo Terminal, I met with Shakuru Oladimeji. He showed me an empty section of the terminal that previously accommodated at least 500 containers. Before we normally do have the shallow position of up to like 700, 500 containers on a daily basis. But due to this incessant delay in traffic law, the delay in concessioning, delaying the data operator's licenses is having a toll both on the daily lives of the workers and the world in Nigeria people in general. You can look at the, uh, the key apron, you can see that there's no any vessel which we are having almost four baths. So that contain, each bath contain one ship. So we're supposed to have four ship at a time. So there's no single one now. At a press briefing in Lagos, leaders of the Maritime Workers Union of Nigeria and the Senior Staff Association of Statutory Corporations and Government-Owned Companies emphasized the importance of having the port to run optimally. Do you know how the federal government to expedite action on the renewal of licenses for terminal operators who have provided a means of livelihood for a large percentage of our TIMI members since 2006? Agricultural products, but the importation has, is coming down, and the Dangote refinery also that reduced the importation of fuel is another major issue that's affecting the poor. But if the policy of government on this exchange rate can be changed, automatically it will boost economy activities in the port. For many of the workers who have lost their jobs, and for others who fear to lose their jobs any moment from now, they hope that the federal government and relevant stakeholders will do the needful towards ensuring the renewal of terminal operators' license to ensure more economic activities here at Tinkan Island Ports. Sharon Jason, TVC News.